stop it. Good evening, everyone. Uh, today, I'm going to present about the drama Twilight of a Grain. Uh, Twilight of a Grain, the drama is written by the famous Japanese playwright Joshua Jiangxi Kinoshita. Uh, it was written in the Japanese language and it was translated into English um, by an English writer. And uh, we should know about Joshua Jiangxi Kinoshita because he is a famous Japanese pop law writer and a, a playwright in the uh, post uh, war japan during that war uh, soon uh, the society was really corrupted due to the war and uh, urbanization so that in order to convey the in order to convey the uh, message towards the society uh, the uh, writer uh, links the folklore elements and the, uh, his message in one uh, drama called Toilet of a Crane. Here, the folklore of the Japanese uh, as a crane who takes a human form is also brought uh, in Indirectly, he also mocks at the society which is corrupted and uh, which is uh, unfavored to nature in this which is uh, uh, partially differentiated from nature from the earlier period so that uh, uh, the we should know that the playwright indirectly mocks as the society in order to provide a better understanding about this drama we should know this uh, point very well first of all there are um, four main characters one is a heroine and the hero who is Shu and Yo Yo, and the uh, villainous um, character who is Soda and Unsu. Soda and Unsu, even though they have both similar characters, Soda leads the main role in the villainous character, and Unsu seems to be the helping character for Soda's strategies and uh, plans to in order to get uh, money. And the greedy conscious mind of the villainous character is clearly provided as a representative of the corrupt people. And Yo Yo seems to be the middle uh, of the nature and the human world as he uh, transforms into a corrupted people due to the friendship of corrupted people. So that uh, Yo Yo seems to be a uh, uh, main character which uh, who uh, says uh, us about the uh, changes in human behavior due to uh, urbanization and capitalization. So Shu is a representative of nature who doesn't change uh, it as uh, time passes so that uh, Shu is a permanent character in his uh, attitude and physical appearance so that uh, Sue is a woman who took a human form, so she, she is really a crane. Uh, we should know the, the folklore. Uh, a crane is shot by an arrow of a, uh, a farmer was uh, helped the crane and uh, as the gratitude, the crane took a hum, human form, a woman to the young uh, in surprise of the young man uh, the woman asked him to uh, he, her to be his wife so that this is the folklore that uh, it is uh, seem to be a folklore because uh, a crane can't get a human form uh, in reality but in this uh, drama the zoo is uh, uh, really a bird crane but he took a human form in order to uh, serve his protector, helper, yo-yo, uh, uh, even uh, he, uh, he uh, doesn't have any benefits of helping the bird. He helped the bird uh, with his highness. So in order to provide his uh, her gratitude, he's changed into a human form. Uh, in a crane form, he can't help yo-yo in a way so that he took a 
frame form and in order to uh, get a material benefits uh, uh, and make yo yo a healthy and wealthy life he uh, weaves a cloth called simbaori it is the ma main thing which creates a conflict in this novel as simbaori is, is worth a uh, thousand dollars um, in a, a city called Kyoto, so that uh, the Soda and Unso, who are very money minded, changed Yo Yo's act, um, behaviors by little by little by saying that you can go to Kyoto and live a wealthy life, you can be rich, and uh, this um, changed Yo Yo's attitude to greedy, uh, materialistic way. Uh, Su doesn't like that uh, because Su only weaves the Simbaori for his old. Uh, his simple lifestyle and to get uh, little money for in order to run his uh, simple lifestyle but uh, it creates a dra dramatic irony because two things in a positive way in order to create the sambhavari but in a negative way it's uh, returned to uh, her in a negative way as uh, yo yo attempts to leave her if he doesn't uh, view Sembauri. It is the summary of this uh, um, drama, The Toilet of a Crane. It is the, uh, we uh, now we can uh, clearly understand and analyze deeply in the inside the drama. First of all, the drama starts with the, uh, in a rural area where poor people shall live and the setting of the place is high, highly portrayed in the first uh, uh, first appearance. Uh, it says that trampled down hard in a field covered with sound, setting sun is illuminating in the western sky. It is the evening time because the sun is setting, and the title of the poem is also suggests that twilight. Twilight is a evening time, uh, not uh, night or day. It is in the middle of the in and figuratively we can also say that. Uh, toilet of a crane means uh, that Su takes a human and bird form. So he's she's in the middle of he, she can or uh, can also say a bird or a human. He is middle of the something uh, twilight. So we can't say uh, both characteristics of a bird and a human. He is mixed like a, uh, a hybrid. So that uh, we should know the title and what is suggests. Now, uh, the starting uh, the of a drama starts with the children saying a song, Shu Yang, Shu Yang. Uh, but Yo Yo is seem to be a lazy person because he's uh, taking a nap in the morning, even though uh, in the morning time he's taking a nap in the fireside. We should know that Yo Yo is uh, in the earlier period, he was a farmer who was very lazy, but he is taking a nap by very easily because he have a lot of money in order to uh, run a healthy life. So that uh, after the show's appearance, Yo Yo seemed to be very lazy and take a nap by his fireside. Yo Yo is also doesn't associate with uh, children because he asks who is shouting there. They, he doesn't uh, want to avoid his nap. Uh, he it indicates his laziness. And children ask for shoes because children who are very uncorrupted and they know who is good and who is bad. So they know that shoe is a very good and kind person. Because uh, even uh, we know that children are can uh, know one's uh, uh, mental behavior by its appearance. So children are who are uncorrupted. So that in order to get uh, a better understanding, the uh, narrator input the character of children and as an extra in order to uh, convey that Sue is a uh, really innocent character. So. Children ask for so, and Yo Yo said, uh, "We can, uh, you can uh, play with me." So uh, after that, she enters into the room and asks, uh, 
uh, yo yo said that i am i am forgot to ma make supper for you it indicates that uh, Sue and yo yo are leading a uh, good life and yo yo loves her wife too much because even though he is lazy uh, he uh, says that uh, he forgot to uh, ready a soup for uh, yo uh, so and the cold soap will won't be as uh, would be uh, won't be good for uh, soup he said and it indicates the, the uh, love and the affection towards soup and after the this incident uh, uh, the narrator wants to tell us the clear bonding between yo yo and soup here yo yo is uncorrupted due to the uh, relationship between the nature and after that the uh, racing action of the drama is appeared as the two villainous characters Sodo and Unso uh, 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 appeared in the stage as uh, Sodo and Unso as uh, his their conversation is mentioned here as Unso said that Yogyo is the luckiest person in the world to get such a nice wife here Unso is very jealous about Yogyo as he is having a nice wife even though he is a lazy man. He doesn't need anything to do but sleep by a fireside all day long. He, it is also saying that Unsu uh, thinks that he is very lazy. He doesn't want anything to do but uh, only the wife with the very precious cloth, cloth called Simbaori. Uh, and sort of thinks uh, a master plan that uh, they uh to in order to get how his wife is uh, weaving a precious cloth uh, called simbaori and he want to know that is it is a really a simbaori or not because soda knows that it can worth more than thousand dollars in a uh, city called kyoto but unsu thinks that he is only associated with uh, the rural villages and the town side so he thinks that it only worth hundred dollars, but uh, the pseudo's cunningness is uh, cl clearly portrayed in this uh, um, incident as uh, he manipulates uh, Unsu by sell, saying that uh, he doesn't say about how it's worth in Kyoto the hundred thousand dollars, but sort of say that it can be. Uh, uh, sell it to hundred dollars, and we can make a deal between Yoyo and make him to uh, tell his wife to weave more clothes, so we can be benefited. So Unsu also uh, agreed to this uh, agree agreement because even though Soda uh, um, humiliates uh, Unsu in a bad way, uh, such as school buzzards and so on. Unsu uh, clearly um, uh, follows uh, Sodo as a, uh, a foolish guy because uh, Sodo only has the business mind character and uh, manipulative character because Unsu is uh, seem to be little innocent as he uh, says that uh, at the ending of the drama he says that uh, so is a very um, innocent character and she is uh, very sad in that moment. Uh, but Soda says that you are a fool, we should only think about the business matters. So Unsu, uh, even though Soda and Unsu have similar characters, Unsu is uh, something differentiated from Soda as he is some, uh, he's, uh, having some kindness towards uh, Su. And after this conversation between Sodo and Unso, uh, Su, uh, then they started to ask Su uh, for how it is, is it uh, really a Simba or if for, which is uh, worn for uh, a thousand feathers of a life train. So uh, Sodo as the suspicion of Soda is increased as Sudo is stood like looking them without a puzzled look uh, but moves away quickly in the inner room if she had heard a sound 
and pseudo and unso are confused in that uh, situation because pseudo says uh, unso did you uh, notice that he is uh, just like acting just like a bird so pseudo and unso have a suspicion that how uh, is pseudo is a bird or a human because he you act like a bird in that uh, situation and he they also know that uh, the uh, story of the folklore as i already mentioned you earlier they are also heard about a, a farmer village who held the crane and unsu said that it could be in the reality also so but soda uh, doesn't uh, uh, care about that and unsu and soda started to uh, talk with uh, to uh, yo yo because they don't get a uh, clear understanding about su and how he entered into uh, yo yo's life so uh, unsu and soda started to um, talk to yo yo in a materialistic way because unsu has already uh, in a business uh, Uh, relationship between yo yo as he uh, at the starting yo yo sells a uh, simba ori to unsu for 100 100 dollars in the town side so un yo yo uh, knows unsu very well so uh, unsu introduced soda to yo yo as uh, he is the my business partner and he will uh, give you a 100 dollars in addition so yo yo who is very uh, seem to be a uh, money minded character due to the um due to uh, sodos and unsus conversation um yo yo thinks that he can uh, go to kyoto and live a wealthiest life with su so even the uh, yo yo knows that if uh, his wife wears a cloth simba called simba or if he get lost weight too much of weight uh, yo yo at the starting he thinks Uh, told that uh, I I won't ask my wife because he will be ill at the ending. So, but even the uh, he is very innocent at the beginning. Due to the soda and unsu, they told and make uh, yo yo to be greedy at the money, and they they told that it worth hundred uh, dollars in addition. So uh, yo yo in the due to these three. three some scam conversation yo yo changed to be a corrupt person uh, uh, due to this conversation at the beginning well, i also told that yo yo is a corrupt person who uh, have relation relationship with the representative of nature so but uh, now he as a friendship uh, he has a relationship uh, friendship relationship between soda and unsu who is a uncorrupted uncorrup- person so that uh, we should know the theme that uh, innocence versus corruption because at the uh, half uh, first half of the drama uh, at the starting of the drama we should understand that uh, yo yo is a innocent character but after the uh, racing action Uh, yo yo seem to be a corrupt person after this incident re and su and children are playing uh, games again and uh, su's uh, uh, long speech tells that he is really worried that his husband is talking to the villagers who are really corrupt the nature is usually knows who is uh, bad and good and the children can be also associate and the representative of nature as they doesn't they are innocent and kind and so on and that's why children and shu are really connected with each other and they play games and have fun with each other and uh, su who is a representative of nature knows who is bad and uh, good so uh, su is really worried that his husband is uh, Uh, talking with the bad people who is sudo and unso and he is really worried about uh, the the thing called money and money is the thing we have he says that we have a lot of money in in order to get a simple lifestyle but yohio is uh, changing their mind in 
in a uh, corrupted way. Uh, I had like to live with you, uh, with your your for in the seas, small house peacefully and quietly without being troubled by anyone. It it shows that uh, Sue's character uh, in uh, innocence and uh, kindness, and then uh, the uh, conversation of Soda and Unso uh, continued and. Uh, yo yo is totally corrupted by Soto's um, actions and conversation as he manipulates yo yo by saying that you can visit Kyoto, which is a famous place, big cities, and it is very uh, capitalization and the urbanization is to uh, there are many beautiful places to look in the Kyoto. In, in we should know in the history. Your Kyoto is seem to be a capital of Japan in the for thousands of years, but now it's changed to Tokyo. So that in that uh, time period, Tokyo uh, Kyoto should be a capital of Japan. So that this um, folk tale is also associated with uh, Kyoto. And then after this. Um, so and uh, yo yo started to uh, make his conversation after shu's long speech as he thinks that um, yo yo is also uh, speak like the uh, kind of language which uh, shu can't understand at the starting we know that uh, soda and unso are in a disgrace because su doesn't speak a single word to soda and unso because the reason is Sudo doesn't answer, understand the correct people's language. So that Yohio is also started to speak the language which Sudo uh, so can't understand. After that, uh, Yohio asks for another piece of uh, clothes to be one, and so says uh, it will harm my health and I will lose weight. But at the starting of the Yohio, Yo Yo said that uh, I won't uh, ask my wife for, because it will lose her uh, weight. But even in this situation, Sue asked for, in a sympathetic way, in the reader's mind, Sue asks us for uh, not to uh, ask me to weave another Simbaori. But Yo Yo tempts uh, Sue to, if he doesn't uh, weave a Simbaori, he will leave her. So. Sue so is in a situation if if he doesn't weave uh, Simbaori, Yo Yo will leave her, and if he uh, weaves Simbaori, he will lose weight, and he soon he will die soon. As so that uh, Sue thinks that the sacrifice for Yo Yo is more than his life, and he is also ready to die for uh, Yo Yo. So that uh, that. Uh, Sue's so, um, character is portrayed here as well. Um, after this conversation, uh, Yo Yo uh, started to sleep in uh, in uh, near the fireside, and Sue, so, yeah, the another monologue is said here as Sue so is thinking that uh, why his husband is changed like uh, uh, this manner, and uh, it creates the sympathetic way in his reader's mind. And uh, after this, Sue said, I will weave a last Simbaori for you. Uh, so in, in that time, Yo-Yo immediately uh, get up from the sleep. So we should know that yo -Yo is also a manipulative character because uh, he act before Sue as a, a ill character and he sleep by the fireside, but um, he also hear uh, that Sue say in a monologue that I will be for you. But when he uh, heard this uh, sentence, Yo Yo immediately get up from the sleep uh, with uh, a happy face. So Yo Yo is also a manipulative character in this um, situation. So that after this, uh, Yo Yo uh, get into the weaving room and uh, Soda and also. Uh, uh, spying them and uh, Soto immediately get into the weaving room and uh, peeps into the weaving room and surprised. Oh heavens! What's the, uh, Unsu said? What's the matter? 
and soda and also are really surprised by looking into the weaving room even though uh, so says as a promise to yo yo not to look into the weaving room as due to soda and unso's uh, suspicion uh, yo yo uh, peeped into the weaving room and said with and there is no uh, human a uh, so only a crane is uh, only a crane is weaving the simbawari with his own feathers so yo yo at the ending uh, knows that his wife is not a real human and he is a crane and so with his uh, lit he is so is really thing in the uh, ending because he has no, not only weaves one he, but also he weaves a uh, extra simbawari for his husband uh, so asked yo yo for sell one and kyota and live a healthy life and uh, keep one simbawari for as a memory of her and so is really weak and thin so he can't uh, live in a human form with yo uh, yo and yo yo also peeped into the weaving room with a, with breaking the promise which is uh, given to so so uh, the it is re really clear to the readers that love is not only the uh, thing which is uh, which should be in a couples to maintain a healthy life but also uh, gratitude and kindness and willingness should be there in the uh, life in order to uh, lead a uh, healthy family life at at the ending uh, the, as the uh, conclusion of the drama uh, ashu flies away as in a crane form to his uh, old uh, nature and uh, even though in that period also uh, soda tries to get the two simbawari from yo yo's hand but yo yo finally understand the real truth of uh, su and he is changed to be a a uh, kind character towards uh, su and but it is uh, late because su has already flown away so in the last panel as a tragic drama the toilet of a crane drama ended in the tragic moment as uh, su is uh, going into the uh, nature as back uh, as su uh, shoes farewell um, the narrator wants to tell us that uh, uh, the clear uh, theme that uh, innocence was uh, corruption and um, feminine fem female and male chauvinism because in the uh, time period in the society of japan uh, male and main thing that they are uh, uh, strong enough and women are very weak and they can't lead a, a family so that uh, uh, women are kept in the house without they don't allow to get, go out in the society of japan so it is really criticized in this uh, drama by the characters of sodo and so when we see the themes uh, love versus uh, mutual trust is clearly portrayed because Mm. um due to the um, loud uh, of so in the drama is uh, uh mainly focused on the um, mutual trust because yo yo and so's uh, mutual trust is lead a healthy life at the beginning and the broken heart of yo yo and so lead a unhealthy life in at the ending so it is also taken as a theme of this mm, drama mm -hmm. thank you for here thank you barian for your wonderful speech it will be a great example for other presenters next i would like to invite master devi hen to present his uh, present on his topic good evening everybody now i am going to speak about on the topic of 
the lumber room which was written by saki uh, uh, the lumber room uh, was written by the saki whose real name was hector hugh munro and he was born in myanmar in uh, december in 1870s and uh, at the young age he lost his uh, parents and uh, he was uh, he grown up with uh, his aunt and uh, his aunt were very authoritative and dominant and uh, he suffered many uh, bad things uh, when uh, during his childhood and uh, he uh, he faced a doministic uh, behavior of uh, his aunts in his house and this short story lumber room is just like uh, his uh, whole childhood and it shows the autobiographical elements of sagis life uh, at the beginning of the story uh, we came to know that uh, the pleasure uh, event has been arranged to jackboro uh, beach for the children and uh, but nicholas is not allowed to go join the trip because he has done something disgraceful and he was uh, fallen back into the uh, disgrace and uh, that is uh, refusing to have uh, bread and milk for the breakfast because there is a frog in it and in the bowl and the frog was put by uh, the fr- the frog was put in the bowl of bre- bread and milk uh, by nicholas himself it is not clear uh, why he uh, put that frog into the bowl perhaps uh, it is uh, for fun and joy or otherwise uh, he would have wanted uh, to show the dislike for bread and milk given by the aunt for breakfast every day or he might uh, have wanted to break the uh, repetition of the bread every day and uh, it is obvious that uh, he uh, the word wholesome is, is used ironically and uh, sarcastically to display uh, how much he hates uh, bread and uh, milk for his breakfast and nicholas seems to hate uh, not only bread and milk for breakfast but also uh, the adults at home and uh, he again shows the contempt and a negative attitude towards the uh, adults saying older and wiser and better people and nicholas is not happy about the adults responses uh, with regard to the proxy and they uh, uh, seemingly told him that uh, it was a nonsense and there could not possibly be a frog in bread and milk they assume that uh, there won't be a frog uh, but uh, they did not trust it even though uh, he provided the fact fact with more detail uh, such as the coloration and the markings of the uh, frog in the bowl and after the understanding the truth uh, of the frog the adults did not want to consider uh, it's a prank or the child or an indication of the protest against the tasteless meal uh, which does not bring any appetite and they don't want uh, their uh, ideas and their uh, attitudes to fail uh, so uh, they give punishment to nicholas and they enlarged uh, it as something uh, sinful committed by nicholas and going against religion and morality in the the term older wiser and better people is repeated again and again in order to bring uh, out the irony and uh, that the older generation uh, is insensible uh, uncaring and unknowledgeable thus nicholas develops a negative critical and sarcastic attitude towards the adults at home but Uh, it also conveys uh, out one of the themes of the short story generation gap uh, between adults and children uh, and when we look at the next one uh, uh, so far the nicholas has been uh, crucial and uh, 
satirical about the adults generally. Uh, he made ironical uh, remarks uh, about them as older and wiser and better people. In this parag in these paragraphs, and he openly criticizes and satires about the characters of his soy descent aunt. Literally, soy descent in French uh, would be self-saying or uh, more closely self-called. And in English, the writer employs the word as self-appointed and so-called or self-styled. So the term soy descent uh, aunt uh, can be interpreted as so-called aunt because uh, Nicholas does not give uh, the relationship uh, between the aunt and himself. As far as the uh, Munro's true life is concerned and his autobiographical elements is used here, uh, this fictional aunt is very much similar to the behavior of the, his real aunts, uh, real aunts. And however, uh, this aunt in the story represents uh, the adults when um, whom Nicholas uh, hates and Nicholas himself uh, represents the youngest generation. And the aunt has decided to send the other children uh, to Jack Burrow. Uh, Nicholas' boy cousin and his younger brother uh, to their, the Jack Burrow beach in the afternoon as a special treat. But uh, Nicholas has to stay in the home uh, because of the prank uh, done by him uh, in the morning, putting a frog in the, uh, his breakfast. Uh, it, can, it can be taken as a prank and it can be uh, forgiven, uh, but the authoritative behavior of the aunt doesn't let uh, her to forgive Nicholas and she considers it uh, as a disgrace. Uh, Nicholas is a child and he is not even uh, equal to the attitudes of the aunt, but she thinks that she, he's, Nicholas is equal uh, to the aunt and she gives punishment to Nicholas. And therefore, anybody can understand uh, aunt's uh, ulterior motive of arranging the expeditions. And it's not to give the opportunity for the other children to have fun or joy. Uh, but to punish Nicholas for his disgraceful and uh, conduct disgraceful conducted uh, by the breakfast. And uh, the main uh, idea of this Yakbara edition is to make Nicholas uh, worried and uh, to make him sad. It is the usual habit of the disgraceful uh, conduct. Uh, uh, it's the usual habit of the aunt uh, to instill uh, such mental uh, agonies to the children's mind. And uh, whenever one child uh, does something uh, wrong or mischievous, she organizes pleasure uh, event in order to exclude the wrong uh, child, uh, exclude the particular uh, child, and uh, she uh, uh, go, she goes with the other child and uh, she thinks uh, that is the punishment to the mischievous child. And uh, if all the children collectively get involved uh, in uh, any wrong doing it, the aunt informs uh, them about the circus in a neighboring town with uncounted elephants and unrivaled merit and wonderful circus, circus items. But she declares them uh, that they, they love the fine opportunity to see the circus because they are uh, in disgrace uh, to the 